Hi, I'm Jeff Butler from Madison College. Today we're going to talk about maquette sculpture. When we sculpt maquettes, we generally use polymer clay. What's that? Well, in our classes we use Super Sculpey, which is a very versatile form of polymer clay. And if you look inside, you'll find that it's kind of a tan beige color, and it comes in these little textured bricks. Uh, and you need to condition it a little bit. There's all kinds of polymer clay. Some of it's colored. Like I said, we tend to use this because of its versatility and it it's, uh, holds together really well when it's baked. Polymer clay is made from polyvinyl chloride powder suspended in a petroleum gel. What's neat about that is, is once it's baked and the petroleum gel evaporates, it becomes very hard. And you can sand it and you can carve in it and you can also as we're doing here, you can prime it and paint it. It can also be cast. You can make a rubber mold and cast several you know, copies of your maquette if you'd like to. One of the things we always talk about concerning polymer clay, there are some safety concerns. While I've had friends that have used this stuff for many, many years uh, exclusively and have had no problems with it, it's still, because it's a petroleum product, it's a good idea to wash your hands after you're done working with it. You don't want to smoke or eat while you're working with it. And you definitely want to be careful while you're baking it so you don't scorch it or burn it. Um, but by and large, it's a, lot of, it's a really fun type of a clay to work with. It stays pliable and soft until it's baked. And uh, once it's baked, you can still uh, like I said, carve it, sand it, do some pretty incredible things with it. And one of the really best qualities of polymer clay, especially Super Sculpey, is the ability for it to retain really minute detail. You can get very, very uh, precise detail with the stuff. And you can see if you're looking at my little laughing guy with the wrinkles and, and the teeth, it's, it's pretty amazing the kind of detail you can get out of this stuff. And that's part of the fun of, of uh, creating maquettes. Now that we know a little bit more about maquette sculpting and polymer clay, we can start our own maquette project.